guys welcome to my channel or welcome back so i hope that you guys enjoy this video for today's video i'm gonna do something a little different i'm basically going to be doing a story time about my experience in nail school now my kids are home so i don't know if i'm gonna have to pause i don't know if I'm just, if you're going to hear them in the back, but just bear with me. So I'm going to try my best to recap my school experience in the couple minutes that I did this video. So in school, let's see, where do I start actually? Okay, so it all started when I had a friend and she said, hey, I'm thinking about doing nails. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. At this time, it was 2014. I was 24 years old. So I had my son in 2012. He was already two years old at the time. So I just felt like I needed to do, to do something with my life. I had actually just been, I think I was babysitting at the time. That was my job at the time. So I didn't want something to consume my whole life because I still wanted to take care of my son and be there and see you know him take his first steps and you know just be around more and not be consumed with my job so i was babysitting at the time and my friend was like yeah i'm gonna go to check out this nail school and she was like do you want to come so you can accompany me that's literally the whole purpose that i went just to you know accompany her to check out the school so it came to the day that I go and I arrive, we arrive and they give us a tour of the school. I felt like I just belonged there. I just felt like I was a kid in a candy store. Everything around me, I saw the girls doing hair, the girls practicing nails. I saw the kids, um, the barber students there and the massage therapists that were studying to be massage therapists um the estheticians and i saw the rooms you know they give you the whole tour the whole shebang to get you to want to go so i just was like i feel like i want to do this i don't i didn't know if i didn't even think about the whole nail thing honestly so let me just do a little quick flashback um when i was younger when I, before i graduated high school i thought i was gonna do hair something told me just to i kept going i literally i'm telling you guys i went to this cosmetology school maybe three or four times um to see if i wanted to sign up and something in my gut always said eh, i don't know about hair but i always forgot that you could do nails i um, that always like left my mind when you know, I could have just done cosmetology and just done the nail thing and focused on it. But I honestly think if I would have went to cosmetology school, like the whole course thing with hair, nail, skin, blah, blah, blah. I think I would have just ended up doing hair. I don't know why. Um, I don't think I would have paid attention to nails, to be honest. So the fact that I was here at this school to just take the nail course. Basically, she goes and she goes get the gets the information, right? So we're at the end of the tour the lady i don't know what she her job was but basically i guess she just signed up anybody that wanted to be there she was super sweet though very very sweet so she t looks at my friend and she's like so what do you think and my friend was a little bit indecisive because she was working a lot of the time she didn't have any kids but she did work a lot um and she was like um she was like yeah i think so i'll do it um i don't remember if she said that i just remember like she looked indecisive so she looked at me the lady looked at me and said what about you would you consider um doing nails and doing you know doing the course for nails nail technology um so i was like wow yeah of course like i think this is a great idea and she said do you have a support system because you know a lot of the times they say that when you have a support system it helps you finish and it helps you actually focus on school and i was i told her my situation and i told her yes i do my family or my parents would think it's great my boyfriend think would probably think it's great so i told her yeah let i'll get back to you and see what they say um because my mom you know i was thinking like well she could watch my son while i go to school so i'll have to ask and see her opinion so i go home and i tell my boyfriend about how cool it was and how i really wanted to go and how i really wanted to do this nail class and i tell my mom my mom thinks it's great 
And I'm going to do two flashbacks real quick. So when I was, I think, 16, my mom and me would always go get our nails done together for like a long time till I went to middle school, right? We would always get our pedicures together. I would get my nails done mostly and she would get her pedicure. So one time when I was like 16, she was like, would you want to do nails when you grow up um, as a living? And I was like, no, um, I'm going to sound so stupid when I say this, but I was like, no, mom, like I'm not Asian, like Asian people do nails. I've never seen like a Spanish or a black person, an American person do nails. I just never did my nail because I always went to the same nail salon. I never saw anybody there except an Asian person. So that was just my ignorance. But I and then I would look around and when she told me that I was like, well, it would be kind of cool. You know, I was having these inter internal thoughts. It would be cool. It looks fun. Um, I love the aesthetic of nails, everything about nails I liked. But I just thought like, um, how it seems like <laughs> like only Asian people do it. So that always escaped my mind. I always thought I was going to do hair. So then that's, you know. So anyway, back to the point. She said, yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think you should do it. I told you when you were younger, why don't you do it? And it's funny that she still remember that. And I remember that. And my boyfriend was like, yeah, go for it. My boyfriend until this day is very supportive, you guys. So I knew he was going to be okay with it. The only thing I didn't know what he was going to say because it was, I think, I had to give them $500, like a, a deposit and my sorry i have my bottle of water with me right next to me okay i had to take a sip of water my throat has been dry lately so yeah my boyfriend is just like thinking about okay i had to explain to him like okay it's 500 dollars to sign up for tuition and the rest is going to be 250 for until i finish for the next i believe four months five months something like that and i finished in four so i um I think, how many was that? I think four payments of 250 I don't remember. Something like that. Yeah, because I think the class was only like 250 2500 Something like that. So, oh no, wait a minute. I think it was cheaper. It was like 1500 Sorry, I'm so bad at math. I can't even remember. But it was not that expensive. It was just the fact that we were young, new parents. I was 20. I had just turned 24. I had a two-year-old. I really didn't know. I felt like such a failure at the time because I was like, well, I have a child. What am I going to do? I never even thought about anything. So um, I was like, I need to do something and I really want to do this. I just knew in my heart, like I was just, I just really wanted to do this. So basically my boyfriend had recalled a situation that happened to me while I was pregnant. I actually had really bad depression or postpartum, even like kind of when I was pregnant. I don't know. I guess I, I was a little bit depressed. Like, I don't know if it's because I was a, a, a new mom. I was like 21 at the time. So 21 years old, being pregnant. I'll give you guys another flashback. I was actually sitting no sorry sitting i actually wanted to go to school i was thinking about it because i was like i can't like be pregnant and not be able to provide for my kid right so i was telling my boyfriend like can i go check out this cosmetology school once again like i told you guys i went to cosmetology school to see check check it out to see if i was going to sign up for it so many times and i never really did so this time when i was pregnant i went to the school and i was so i felt so defeated i felt like hopeless because I went to go talk to them and they did notice that I was pregnant and they were like, oh, this school, they take it very seriously. You can't miss one day. I don't think it's going to work. You're pregnant and you may not finish. Like basically making me feel like because I got pregnant, I would never be able to do anything. And it's crazy because a lot of the times you guys, uh, especially the school I went to, there was a lot of girls there that were pregnant and they were, you know, trying to finish up so they can do something so they were making it seem like because i was having a kid or because i was pregnant it was going to be inconvenient and i actually tell you another story there was a school that the same other school that i went to there was a couple other different schools i checked out right and there was a specific one that told me that it was not that big of a deal and that um they wanted me to go there for whatever reason and they kept calling me you know trying to get people to sign up so I told her like, oh, I'm already licensed in nails. This is when I was pregnant with my daughter and I wasn't even working doing nails because I was just like, I cannot do this. I was so at a point where like I was overdoing nails because I couldn't get it right. But anyway, she was like, yeah, just come and do this. It's okay if, if you're pregnant. So it's like crazy because, you know, you can go to one person and they'll tell you something totally opposite. So don't feel bad if somebody ever tells you you can't do nothing because whatever circumstance, you know, somebody else believes in you basically. So yeah back to where i was i'm always going sidetrack because i don't know i probably got some issues in my mind but anyway so 
my boyfriend agrees. My mom agrees to watch my son. So then I go to the school. Um, I'm going to have to probably do another a part two or something. So I don't know. Maybe I'll break it up in parts. So I go to the school and I go with my friend and we both decide like, yeah, let's do this. We go to the school and we sign up. We pay our tuition and we go in and they give us our like nail technology uh, products in this big old luggage looking thing that you can roll around basically they give us the brand cnd there's acrylic there's monomer there's nail tips there's a primer there's so much stuff they just didn't for whatever dumb reason they didn't give us a lamp which i got so annoyed about they were like we can't afford to give you guys lamps like i'm just like thinking about it now like you could have gotten a cheaper lamp and gave it to us because we were you know beginners but whatever anyway because they gave us gel and everything to practice. How are we going to practice that at home with no lamp? But whatever. So this is 2014, though. Remember that. So maybe lamps were just always more pricey back then. Because the time that I bought my, my SC lamp, it was like $300 uh, when my, my mother-in-law bought it for me as a gift. So anyway, yeah, they give us our luggage. And we go and we see this new girl that's actually joining the class the same day we are. So we meet her and she was super sweet. And we go into the class. We meet our teacher. Guys, I need to do a story time about my ratchet now school teacher on a different, <laughs> in a different video because she was ratchet. She was rude. She was just too extra. And it's crazy because I'm not going to lie. She said that me and this other girl were her favorite in the class. My daughter is crying. So she, uh, we were actually one of her favorites, but she was very ratchet. So anyway, I guess she saw that I showed so much interest in the nail world and doing nails and stuff that she just loved that I was always participating, doing everything I could to learn. She just saw, th oh, sorry, my phone. So she just saw that I really cared about my, my career as a nail tech. So anyway, so we meet her, we sit down. She seems very like, you know, not very warm she just seemed a very rude or something i don't know like she just was doing her she was just basically there to get a paycheck so we sit down and i'm just so giddy and excited it's not even funny um because now i get a break for my son i get to go and you know communicate with other people my age younger people older people there was every age in that class there was even a daughter uh, a daughter and a mom and she was like maybe 17 20 and her mom was like um 40 50 some years old and i thought that was so cool um so they went to school together there was a like maybe i want to say like 10 or less people in the class there was people that looked like they just didn't even care to be there there was people i don't i didn't understand there was these two girls that looked like they were just there to be there i don't know so there was people that you could tell like what they did there was other people that were like i don't even know why i'm here they just didn't know what to do i i don't know what it was about me i didn't even know how much of an interest i had in nails until i went i really didn't um i did this out of a spur of a moment and i'm so glad that i did so anyway um so that was our first day um it was just you know introduction and we every if you came in the class and they were on maybe say anatomy then that's where you had to start because they were already on anatomy so we had book work and then we were able to go into the i don't remember what they call it the clinic i don't know why they call it that they call it something weird like a hospital term for some reason but they were like okay we're gonna go out there now like at the salon area we, we would be in a classroom and then we can go into the salon area so when we were in the salon area we would learn uh, you know basically the hands-on stuff and then everything else in the classroom we would learn like the anatomy of the body and things of that nature diseases and disorders of the nails diseases of the hands stuff like that like skin diseases so you can see what to look out for uh, things like fungus and then we would learn stuff about aids hiv we would learn hipaa um type of stuff i don't know it's like you know law legal things of that nature and that's the stuff that's how it kind of like went down most of the time there so for mo most of the beginning of like say the first week it was more like trying to get down and seeing like the routines that they would do then we would get like a little break but my first day it was mostly just kind of checking out how it went um meeting new people um and you know playing with your nail products to see what you can use and how to use it 
but that was literally how I got into nail school and that's literally the first day that's how I felt but I was so excited because I, I remember when I came home that first day I opened up all of the luggage that they gave me and there was so much stuff in there that I could not believe there was so much acrylic we had monomer we had the nail brush we had I messed up that nail brush by the way really quick but we had everything they gave us tip cutters um little scissors they gave us like a like a cuticle little kit for your cuticles to take care of them they didn't give you a drill I remember that you had to learn I guess well they said that they would um they would let you bring in a drill if you had it at home or you could just use a nail file but I think that is so stupid now that I think about it. They didn't even have a nail drill for us to practice with, not one. They did have only two nail trainers, you guys. And there was like eight people in our class. And I always would hurry up to go get that nail trainer so that I could play, practice with it. Nobody seemed to really care about it, to be honest. I, on, I don't know why. I always felt like me and maybe two other people actually cared to be there. Everybody else didn't seem to care. Um... I would study so hard for tests, you guys. I would practice, like, I would um study at night. My son would not even let me, but I would have to study for, like, two hours. But I would ace the test the next day. And I always thought to myself, you see how crazy it is? Because I'm telling you guys, when I was in school, school, like, high school, middle school, I hated school. Like, I couldn't. I, I think, honestly, um, what they say is true when they say when you really like something, you're going to do great at it. Because... I couldn't believe how I remembered if I show you guys these books with these big old like scientific names like anatomy and stuff like that, uh, chemistry, all these like big scientific words. I couldn't believe how I and they all looked alike. I, I need to show you guys the books. We had to know exactly what the names were and things like that. And I can't believe that I would ace these tests. And they were the same test literally from high school. Like, you know, you had to learn all the, the stuff on an, the anatomy, the body, and diseases, and, like, laws and regulations. And I was just like, I can't believe, like, I do well in nail school. And I, I, I should have just, I guess it's because I wanted to pass nail school so bad because I loved it so much. And I just couldn't wait to get out there and work. But, yeah, that's literally how my beginning stages went. And if you guys want to hear about the Ratchet Nail Tech teacher, let me know. I actually had two. My second um, teacher, I only had her for two weeks. But I'll tell you, she was wonderful, you guys. But I'll tell you about the Ratchet one later on. But thanks, guys, so much for watching. Let me know if you like these story time type of videos. Until next time, bye-bye.